What's up everyone, I'm Steven here with Tiny House Listings and today I wanted to share with you a really neat new product uh, by a company called EcoFlow. And um, I've been no stranger to review and, and look at new solar technology. I've been doing it probably eight years on this channel. Uh, maybe you'll see a couple more gray hairs since I first uh, started if you've been with us for a while. But uh, anyways, it's super exciting new product uh, by a company called EcoFlow. And uh, so we'll dive into this, I was gonna show it to you. And uh, I think this might be a good setup, Piper. <laughs> I think this might be a good setup for van dwellers or people who live in a tiny house with relatively minimal uh, power needs. Um, so anyways, yeah, let's dive into it and check it out. Uh, I've done reviews like this before for similar technology, even though I, I have to already say that I think I'm like, this might be my favorite so far. Um, but people would say things like, uh, well, why don't you just buy your own battery, your own charge controller and an inverter and make your own setup for cheaper. And uh, I used to kind of be on that train, right? But when you look at something like this and you look at the price, uh, this right here costs just about the same as just a lithium battery itself without any of the technology uh, that comes with this particular one. So uh, as I start telling you a couple of the stats of this thing, you'll see that something like this, again, if you have minimal power needs, it makes a lot of sense. So this battery that comes in here is lithium um, and it comes with four ports, uh, four USB ports and then two USB ports. And uh, what I really like about this one is that you can turn on just the DC ports instead of turning the whole thing on. Um, I still have only been using this for not too long and I'm, and I'm still kind of getting used to it. But right off the bat what you can see is it comes with a really, really neat and clean display and it's colored. Uh, it's not like a lot of like monochrome type ones you'd see that are super basic and rudimentary. And uh, I like the fact that, well, let's zoom in real quick and I'll show you more. Right here shows, on the left side, it shows, if you're charging, it shows how much time you have uh, left before it's 100%. And then if you're actually using energy, it shows you, based on your current uh, use, how much longer you have before it's depleted to zero. This is what your current charge is, we're at 95%. Um, when you're charging, it shows how many watts, I'll show you that here in a second, are going into the battery. And then this right here shows how many watts are being taken from the battery at the bottom. And as you can see, nothing's plugged up, so they're both zero. And this is the port that you lift up, and it's how the, there's three ways you can charge this guy. Uh, one is through solar, and another is through a regular cord that comes with it. So you literally just plug this into here, and then plug it into the wall. And what I absolutely love about this thing, I haven't seen this on any other setup, is it goes from zero to 80% in one hour. Um, so you can literally put, I think it's 1100 watts of power into this thing just from uh, a wall connection at any given time, which is pretty amazing. And this is a reset button. Then on the back, you've got uh, six standard wall outlets. You can turn the, and this is, you'd be making use of your inverter for this because this will use anything that's AC. So you turn on here and then you can charge. Another way to charge this guy up is from, um, with a cigarette lighter. So you can plug it up from the cigarette lighter from your car, or it also comes with a cable that uh, goes straight from a solar panel into here as well to charge. Yeah, so if you were to literally take this thing into a coffee shop, it's a little on the large size to do that. Um, you could charge it up literally in 80% less than an hour. So if you were to go do a little bit of work at a coffee shop or something like that, or if you're a van dweller, you have a bus or something like that, uh, when you charge, when you turn the car on, you can wire this thing up to where it was plugged into the, um, into the uh, um, cigarette lighter. You could be charging this thing up while you're going down the road while also simultaneously using solar. Like if you have solar up on the roof or something like that. The specs on this guy is that it holds 1.3 kilowatts of power. Uh, so I really like that. That's a pretty good size. Um, and then also it can, you can take 1800 watts out at any given time. So anything, if you want to run a mini split unit, um, Believe it or not, you can even plug this into your Tesla and it'll give it, I think it's seven and a half miles of charge, which is pretty insane. Um, and so you can power basically anything in your house that, cause most things are gonna be 1800 watts or less. Uh, so it's pretty amazing. Uh, and if you have minimal needs, right? If, like if you're using lights, refrigerator, sorry, I'm underneath this little canopy here and it's making a noise um, as the wind blows. But um, yeah, if you're using anything, microwave, whatever, this guy will take care of it. It comes with quite a few cables. This is one of them. Um, and it has a, their own, it looks like some sort of proprietary connection, or that may be something else that I just don't know about, which is kind of bad, but it is what it is. Uh, this connects straight into here to get power. And then on the other end are your standard MC4 connectors. And what I like about that is you don't have to have a proprietary, any solar panel will work. I have some suitcase panels that they gave to me and I'll show you those in a second as well, but here's a 150 watt panel, right? And so we pl we'll plug this in and then you can see here in a second on the readout how many watts it's putting into the system. 
So this is a 150 watt panel, but it is the winter time and the sun somewhat low. As you can see, it's putting in 113, 100, whatever, kind of bouncing over the place a little bit, but uh, that's how many uh, watts the panel is currently putting into the system. EcoFlow also sells these suitcase style um, solar panels, which I think is really nice. This one's 85 watts, and I'll show you here in a second how you can set it up, but if you're in a temporary situation, this would make a lot of sense. Uh, if you're using this for, for a more permanent situation, um, i do not quite sure this is the way to go. Um, you can still mount this somewhere to uh, like a roof. It's like, like a flexible style. You'll see here in a second. Um, but the more permanent ones, like I showed you a second ago, the 150 watt, that would be really, really good for like how I use out here in my little cabin um, mounted permanently. And I'll show you that in a second as well. The case that it comes in also acts as a stand by attaching these two carabiners on either side. And then all you do is if you, um, if you decide you want to put it like at a different angle, you can go like this, or if you want to put it straight up, you can and kind of put these at an angle. Uh, it works pretty well. Good solution if you want to use uh, your panels temporarily. So this panel, which is 85 watts, uh, it connects to the front of the unit and uh, it's via USB-C input and you could actually daisy chain a few of these together as well. This can also be, as you can see, you can swap it out and use another type of input and plug it into the back. All right, now I'll show you guys how it works in my cabin. Again, what I really like on this display is you can see there's 107 watts being put in and at this rate, uh, it would be at 100% in 52 minutes, 52, 53, bouncing around based on that. But uh, in terms of interface and how well this uses, like it actually, what it says it's doing is actually truly what happens. I've used other units where it'll say 95% and it might be like 85% or 60 or something like that. This right here does a really good job. Whatever the management system they have in here is the best I've seen so far. So this is my little cabin in the woods. I like to spend a day or two a week out here and uh, just to kind of get away from things. Uh, but this is what I've been using this unit here to test it out to see how it works There's a fridge in here and a couple other small things. So sh we'll show you that real quick Forgot to mention the name of the unit is called the EF Delta and this is where I've been putting it the little space uh, And it makes a lot of sense because the solar panel outside that you've seen like a little granddaddy long leg there um, Is where the solar panel is connected and it comes through the wall So then I can plug this up directly into there from there and this is the again Like I said a very primitive job when I connect this into the unit it will power of the entire cabin. So I got a little fridge here as you can see and it kind of powers it up no problem. The cabin I have a couple wall outlets and I can just plug anything into that. Uh, charge phone, whatever. And the EF Delta will power it up no problem. I've got a small TV. I can watch movies while I'm out here and that's running off the unit as well. Like I said before, a setup like this where you don't have a lot of power needs, maybe a fridge, TV, a couple wall outlets, charge uh, small devices. Um, even if you need to run something like a mini split for just a little bit to cool the place off or to heat the place up just a little bit, uh, even then it's good. Uh, if you live in a place that's really, really sunny and you have access to a lot of solar energy, you can stay on top of it. Like through the night, of course, you're gonna deplete your battery. Through the next day, you can bring it right up to speed. Uh, if you live somewhere like that, or especially people live in vans, buses, things like that, to where when, anytime you uh, turn the engine on, you're gonna start charging it back up. Very, very good solution like that. Um, even for a full on tiny house, if you have minimal needs, you have LED lights, um, you would be good. You'd be good to go, I think. I think this would work really well. And what I really, really like about this setup so far, that the minimal time that I've used it, is that the interface is so much better and it's actually accurate. Uh, I have other units, uh, like I said before, where it gives an, uh, an output that's not exactly accurate. And uh, so for whatever reason, they've been able to figure that out, EcoFlow, and uh, I really, really like it. I think it's a great setup. Uh, I'll leave a link down below uh, so you can take a look at their products and see if it's something, maybe it's for you, and uh, go from there. So anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.